Well, joining us on the line for a deeper analysis of uh, the PSL intervention, we're very pleased to welcome Mr. Max Maponyane, a very well-known South African football legend. Mr. Maponyane, a very good afternoon to you. Thank you so much for your time. Do talk to us about your reaction when you saw the shocking scenes unfolding at Moses Mabida during the Saturday game. Good afternoon, Alicia. Yes, it was sad. And, uh, you know, it, you looked at it and you thought, well, let me be honest with you. I saw it coming. When I say I saw it coming, I saw it coming from the fact that uh, uh, a, a game against Chippa, you can recall that the Chiefs fans uh, were out of order. They just threw missiles onto the pitch. Mm -hmm. But then this was obviously the time when they thought, we are going to win this one, and should we not win it, then there was going to be something. And that was not good for the eye, not good for the game, not good for the image of football in this country. Mm -hmm. Mr. Baponyani, look, this is not the first time, obviously, that we're seeing such incidents during big games, uh, so to say. And many feel that the PSL and SAFA are not doing nearly enough. I mean, they feel that, uh, of course, just the fines, uh, charging the fines and sanctioning matches is just not enough. What do you think uh, needs to happen or be intensified when it comes to security measures, particularly at these big games, sir? I think let's also be honest that uh, we're talking big games. This game, to me, and Ivan has already explained that, that uh, it was a, a category or uh, a medium category game. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't a game that uh, hooliganism of this nature was expected. But uh, it's only culmination of frustration from fans who just expect a lot. And you know, those expectations lead to frustrations. And those frustrations lead to those actions that they took. But uh, you cannot say, yes, uh, there, was, there were not enough measures taken. It was just something that was planned by those few criminals that thought, we're going to make sure that we put our foot down and uh, make ourselves heard. Mm. But having said that, though, you asked what solution. I think that uh, for the fact that we have stadia that are of uh, world class now. You know that F&B and Moses Mabid and many others that were built for the World Cup mm -hmm. have cameras. We should take advantage of those cameras and eliminate, root out those uh, individuals okay, okay. and make an example with them and just uh, make sure that uh, they face the might of law. Absolutely. Marks, in your view, and I mean, I'm so sorry to put you on the spot here, but who do you feel should take the total blame for this incident and how do you feel they should be punished so that to set a precedent Incidents for other games where crowds become uncontrollable? It's definitely going to be those individuals that are identified yes. on camera mm -hmm. because there is so much view, uh, footage that is all over. Even but there's on only been two media. arrested people, Marks. What do you say to that? I beg your pardon? I mean, they've only arrested two people out of all those throngs of people that were uh, behaving like hooligans at the stadium. Well, there is still time to review and say what more or who else and uh, how many more can we catch. Mm -hmm. And once you review that, you can always say these are the people that we have to expose. Because, I mean, we saw one thing that I have noticed and asked myself, but does this make sense? A whole big speaker, one of the sound system, was carried over by those two. I was carried by other two guys yes. walking out of the stadium with that. And we saw the others carrying a billboard or an advertising board. And you ask yourself, why are they? What are they taking this to? That's all just uh, damage of property and mm. uh, just violence at its best. You know, Marks, you spoke about something very profound when we started the interview. You said you could see this uh, coming. I mean, I'm sure even people at home could see that the dissatisfaction of the crowd could lead to something like this. What do you think could be some of the measures that then uh, the refs and the officials on the pitch on the day could then adhere to? Could they stop play to ensure that, uh, you know, it, it doesn't get to the level that it did on Saturday, sir? Dr. Koza explained that the uh, presence of police will, uh, will be more important because they are the ones that obviously have to follow the law and have the right to arrest. Mm -hmm. And these are the times where I don't want this country to end up being like a military country or state that we have been to where you're playing and then there are guys dressed in military outfit next to you. But we might have to go that route because we have the, uh, the, the security people who I have to say they are really helpless, helpless as in they are not even armed. You can't expect a lot from them. 
But the worst had, when the worst happens, there's so much disrespect to these people. They mm. just go over them and sometimes not even go over them, knock them down as we saw that uh, individual being kicked to pieces. And that's just disrespect to everyone around you and to the law itself. Absolutely disrespect. Mark, before I let you go, as a football legend, both on and off the field, I mean, what do you think is the cause of this violence that has now been synonymous with our football games? Is this just poor hooliganism that you mentioned earlier, or you think it's just a, a lack of proper conducts and ethics by the soccer fans or the stadium management? What do you think? I think it's lack of uh, management. You've got to manage your expectations. And it all boils down to that. Because if you look at it, it wasn't about the team losing. It was about the team losing with the coach that they've always wanted out. And they now say this is the only way we can put our foot down. It, has, it wasn't happening for the first time, as you rightfully said. We know also in Devon at some point, Roger Desar was thrown with missiles at some point when Paris was not delivering. Mm -hmm. And it's just the fans that realize that they can get away with this. And they're doing it. And the worst thing that's going to happen, Alicia, is that we are going to experience this again. And once we experience this, then we'll start uh, putting stringent measures. And it shouldn't go that route. Absolutely. Max, thank you so, so much for your time, sir. That is uh, South African soccer veteran, Mr. Max Mapunyane, giving us his account of uh, the developments that he saw unfolding at the Moses Mabida Stadium after the game on Saturday.